And with the crisis continuing in Ukraine, a team of Utahns are preparing to head there to lend a helping hand. Our ABC 4's Lena Takata joining us live from the Salt Lake International Airport with more on what these Utahns are hoping to do. Lena. Emily, a team with August Mission, a Utah nonprofit, is flying to Eastern Europe Saturday. Team members say the situation in Ukraine can evolve quickly and they're prepared to do everything they can to help refugees. Uh, connecting with local governments, seeing what their needs are, and then really defining our lines of effort that our current teams are going to rotate in and start executing. Nick Fowler, who works with the August Mission, returned recently from a trip to assess needs in Ukraine. What he saw there was the need for food and supplies as Ukrainians flee from war zones. We've been working pretty closely with a shelter that currently houses 48 uh, orphans and about 120 families. Now another team with the organization is preparing to head to Ukraine on Saturday to help address some of those needs. Uh, our goal is to try and get as much medical supply into these areas. August mission team members are selected for their skills and expertise. Firefighters, businessmen, you know, we have a trucking specialist. That's huge. To be able to go in and actually organize and, and line up those logistics effectively and efficiently. Making it possible for the organization to help in a number of ways, from medical help. Uh, we have a few doctors going to be coming on and we're going to get them transported into where they need to, where they can actually do a lot of good uh, to help the people that are s still suffering there. To transportation. As we are making our way back out closer to Poland, we are going to try and bring people with us as much as we can, as often as we can. To scenarios that could require technical gear and expertise. The only bridge out of town was blown up, and they're all stuck on the other side of, of that bridge. So we'll see if there's something that we can do to ease or solve that problem and team up with who we need to to be able to bring our specific talents in and, and make that happen. Meanwhile, a doctor working with the August Mission is returning back to Salt Lake City on Saturday. That doctor was able to take 20 suitcases full of medication to Ukrainian hospitals and was able to see 50 children while there. Live at the Salt Lake City International Airport, Lena Takada, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Lena. In Provo now, police are 